And another thing about beauty. All the deep thinkers are always asking all these cosmic questions, always making all these poetic declarations about beauty. And you know what? It isn't that hard. Something's beautiful when you like it. And I mean like really like it. Anything, any little experience that you really, really like. That's beauty. Duh. But actually, that's kind of strange. See, you can only explain beauty by explaining what it does to you. So it's not exactly measurable. It's wildly inconsistent, person to person, moment to moment, popping up at the most unexpected places. Sometimes it's there when we're weeping, sad songs being so often the most beautiful. And sometimes it goes missing right in the middle of laughter and cheers. There's nothing beautiful about the crowd at a nationalist rally. Beauty refuses to appear on command, to be made from formula, to be generated statistically. Meaning, if making beauty is part of your job, it can be a real pain in the ass. You just can't get to the bottom of it because beauty isn't out there in the world. It's what we feel in here when we connect with whatever it is that we love. Beauty is an experience that argues it's good to be here. Despite all the awful going on, it's good to love. The wise have long observed the cause of all of our suffering is desire. And the cause of all of our desire is beauty. We suffer for it. Beauty is the bait that lures us into living. It's what precipitates spirits into being. Even in our deepest depravity and despair, there are even then moments we cannot help but think, maybe the bait is worth the trap. The life is worth the dying.